field there, ladies and gentlemen, fellow firearms enthusiasts, friends. Welcome back to Crook and Horse Rifle and Pistol out of Lamar County, Mississippi. Pick myself up another micro nine. Let's go to the bench and see what we got. Well, hello there, friends, ladies, gentlemen, fellow firearms enthusiasts. Again, welcome back to Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol out of Lamar County, Mississippi. Today it's Memorial Day. It's 92 degrees with 56% humidity with a heat index of 103. I'll let that soak in a little bit for you. But in the meantime, just to let you know, I'm already sweating heavier than a whore in church. I don't know if I can say that. But anywho, I've been gone for a while. Uh, some of it by design, and uh, you know, some of it not by choice. Uh, got a lot, had a lot of projects going on between, uh, you know, various projects, work, and other things. You know, life has a hit, you know, has a tendency of getting in the way. But just to make a quick announcement, Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol now falls under the you know, a parent company, a Crooked Horse Trading Company. You now, and uh, if you're looking to purchase, you know some uh, honey, you know fresh, natural honey, out you know straight from the hives, out of, of the Southern Mississippi. Come check us out. Uh, we uh, are producing our own honey out here on the ranch. You know, with, uh, you know, with just straight, uh, raw, wildflower honey. Lots of good health benefits in that. So come check us out at crookedhorsetrading.com. Get yourself a, you know, some, uh, you know, some honey in two pound, in a two pound bottle or in a one and a half pound mason jar. Well, anywho, Let's talk about guns. This here is a Glock 43X. Glock's my you know, version of the Micro 9 pistol. Now I've done a lot of few, you know, several other videos in the past, you know, with uh, Micro 9s, and you know, never had the, you know, the Glock. So, and you know, got my hands on, you know. Went out and purchased the, the G4 or the yeah the 43X, and see how she does. So a few things that you know about the 43X. Is it comes with two 10 round magazines. So for my folks in California, guess what? You're already compliant. Get your load assist tool. Your associated paperwork and your standard trigger lock. Again, whether you choose to use that, it's entirely on you. Just remember, choices and consequences. And I'll be straight up, straight up honest with you folks. Your kid, your kid or someone else's kid gets a hold of your gun because you didn't properly secure it. I have no sympathy for what coming your way. If it's up to me, you'd be spending the rest of your life in prison. So, just a few things about this. On the outset, you got your standard Glock trigger. Now this one is optic ready. However, you can also purchase them you know, without being optic ready. We got our standard Glock grip on the or serrations on the front and on the rear. No change on that, you know, compared to other Glocks. Uh, same, uh, same method of takedown, you know, as other Glocks. And of course, you got your standard, you know, Glock, uh, you know, sights there. 
So a couple things about this pistol is you will notice that it is slightly slimmer than your standard Glocks. See if we can't zoom on in there. There we go. So definitely a little slimmer. And you know another thing now with the pistol is even you now the slide slimmer your grip is also yeah basically your overall frame you, you know the overall pistol itself is even you know much slimmer to it so measurement wise we're looking about Just under, yeah, I'd say about seven eighths of an inch wide. I need an overall off slide length of six inches, um, about uh, six, six. Overall length about six and a, and a quarter inch. And that's from the front of the, of the slide to the end of the beaver tail. Height wise, four and a half inches. Now let's talk weight unloaded. Got my little scale here. Weight unloaded. We're looking at just a little over one pound. About one pound, one ounce. So let's put, you know, load this magazine up. First we'll take a little bit of water. You know, make sure you hydrate in this weather. But let's load this magazine up and do a little shooting. All right, so we have our rather ratty looking target set up here. And we're gonna do uh, just a few, uh, you know, some some basic drills: three yard, five yard, seven yard, ten yards, and see how she does. Again, this is only a ten round magazine capacity, so we're gonna have to do a reload during the drill as well. Alright, so this is going to be three yards away. Right here at the three yard line. So let's go back and say how look what we're looking like. Yeah, this is three yards, so I mean really anybody should be able to you know anybody should be able to hit the target nearly three yards without having to put much effort into aiming. See right there. Now we're going to go to five yards and swing you around. There we go. Now we're going to shoot the hit over to five yards. Go on back. So 
we're still now in, you know, in the box there. See if we can't zoom in closer. So, still within the box, got six rounds. Now, seven yards. Shooting at a seven yard distance. All right, so let's say three, six. Nine, seven, eight. There's our nine round right there. Just a little off to the side. That's still a good shot, in my opinion, because you're hitting a lung. We'll take that. Now we'll go to 10 yards. Shooting, shooting at 10 yards and then doing a reload. Try to find a place to put my remote. Here we go, 10, 10 yards. All right, so let's go to the target there. So we should have a total of 12 hits. Assuming we didn't miss. So let's see, we got just Two iron right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ten of them within the box, the two of them off to the side, but still those are long hits. So we'll go take them as well. So let's go back to the bench. Talk a little bit about this pistol. First we're going to Make this a condition four weapon, which we just did. Verify clear, and we're clear. So the Glock 43, you know, it's certainly not a new pistol to the market. It's been out for a minute. Um, but uh, now, how does it compare to, say, you know, say, you know, you know, a similar pistol? You know, say, you know, a, a Glock subcompact. This here is my Glock 26 subcompact. And like the 20, you know, like the 43X, the 26 hat, you know, comes with 10 round magazine. And let me show you about as far as the thickness goes, you know, compared to the other Glocks. And I'm gonna zoom in on here so you can kind of get a good look. As you can see, width-wise, you know, there's a, just a noticeable difference. 
on it. And let's see how much this, what the Glock 26 width is. An inch. So about an eighth of an inch. No, an eighth of an inch longer, or wider, I should say. Now, some fun you might not seem like that may not seem like a lot, but trust me, you know when you're carrying something, you know that don't belong in your, you know, when you're carrying something in your waistband, you're gonna notice even the littlest things. A few other things about the pistol compared to, you know, the 26. You know, that's different. Check out the beaver tail on this four, on the 43X. I really like this beaver tail. It really comes back in there. Whereas the 43, or I'm sorry, the 26, it doesn't have that, but no, the beaver tail's there, but not, not as pronounced. Now on uh, on your regular Glocks, you can put, you know, it has, you know, the, you know, the, uh, the back strap insert that you can put on there to modify that. You know, so I can, you know, put a different back strap on there to give me a better, you know, a more pronounced beaver tail should I choose to. The 43X. You don't have that option, you no, know, with the, you no know, additional back straps. Now, what you see with this pistol, it is, you no, know, it is what it is. Uh, obviously, but much narrower pistol. You know, regular Glock magazine, it ain't going in there. Now, can you put a 43X magazine? Regular Glock, I don't know, let's find out. Looks like it looks like you can, looks like it locks in there. However, it does rattle back and forth. They can even give them a shake, you gotta rattle. We'll check to see if it cycles. In fact, I got some rounds in this one now. Let's check check that right now, see if it cycles. Let's zoom in on, get you up, I focused on the range. A 43X magazine in a standard clock. Well, loaded it ain't gonna happen. See, it won't lock in place. Empty one would lock. So that negates that. So 43 magazine, not interchangeable. Um another thing, another little detail. Empty magazine now. Look how much. Again, let's zoom in on here. See how much that, uh, how much space you got there between the, you know, the back of the grip and that, uh, in the plate of your magazine. Unload a magazine. This here's your Glock 26. Much cleaner. That may not be an issue for you know for most. It might be an issue for some. Just saying. Uh, comparing to the you no know, subcompact, additional comparisons. Look like we're probably about. 
three sixteenths of an inch shorter on the 43X and but you will notice your 43X has a longer pistol grip. We're looking probably about maybe just over a half an inch. So ultimately I say, you know, comparing um, you know, the 43X to say your your subcompact, you're trading your width. You know, uh, the, you're trading you're, you're trading width for pistol grip, and for th folks of a smaller stature, this extra pit, you know, this grip sticking out, and so when you're trying to carry carry concealed, could be an issue. Let's talk weight, you know, weight wise again. Compare the two with weight. Subcompact unloaded with the magazine in, looking about uh, one pound, five ounces. And again, the Glock 46, one pound, just under, you know, one pound, two ounces. So, 43X is going to be a little bit lighter compared to the subcompact. Stupid bugs. And you can definitely feel it when holding it as well. You know, you can definitely feel the weight difference. Now, which feels more comfortable in the hand? Well, for me, I'll be honest with you. I find the 43X actually feels more comfortable in the hand than the Glock 26. Uh, I actually kind of appreciate having more of that grip there where I got all my, you know, all the fingers on my little hand my, my little hand uh, on the grip itself, whereas the subcompact, even with my little hands, now that little pinky finger still hanging, it wants to hang below. And I also find that the uh, magazine release. It's easier for me with my small hands for me to hit that you no know, that magazine release and then the 40 and then the 26 where when I'm done shooting I gotta kind of bring it in to hit it now at the 43 I still gotta kind of bring it in some but really not as much so if you got small hands that might be something you want you might want to consider Let's do some more shooting. So we're here at our 10 yard mark. I got my eye protection. There we go. I'll never advise shooting at steel targets without eye protection on.
about that was 45 yards out. Shooting that red tombstone way out there. See if I have my range finder on it and see what the what the distance on that red tombstone was. As I'm trying to shoot, I got this stupid mosquito flying around me. Alright, so I got my laser range finder here. Let's see what we're looking at. Alright, fifty-two yards. So let's say, now you've been carrying, now this Glock 26, you know, for some time, or heck, maybe even this, you know, you know, this Taurus here, you know, this G3C. I mean, you know, maybe you're looking maybe something a little bit more, you know, slimmer. You done some reading up on, you know, on the subcompact nine millimeters uh, micro nines. Maybe watched a few YouTube's. Heck, maybe even watched a few of my YouTube videos. So you go to the, your big box sporting goods store, whether it be Academy Sports, Bass Pro, because well, you live in a town. Maybe that's that's the only place you got where you can buy firearms. And you look in the gun cabinet, you, find, you see this Glock 43X, come across the Springfield Hellcat, SIG P365, heck, you even, you know, take a look at this Canik Meta MC9, because you're liking the price point. Well, heck, maybe even this Stoger, the STR9MC. Because again, you're looking at a price point and you don't have, a, don't want to spend a lot of money. Which do you choose? But that's gonna be entirely on you, honestly, depending on how much you want to spend. Now for your Glock 43X, probably look around $458. Your Springfield Hellcat, you know, in the 500s. Probably the same thing with your Sig P365. Get into the Canic, you're getting in the 300s. And, you know, and then the, the Stoger, you know, the upper 200s. So we got a 43X. Let's compare size wise, though. So I will say size wise, 43X is probably one of the larger of the pistols compared to this. Here's our, our Springfield Hellcat. And I've already verified all these guns are, are, are unloaded. So, 
Got quite of a big div difference there. Looking about a half inch in the length. Now I say the Hellcat's probably a little bit slimmer too. And it is optic ready. And 10 round magazine. How's the 43, how's the 43 compared to the P365? Again, a big difference. About a half inch in barrel length. Well, grip. And this one here, 10 round magazine. Arcanic is probably about the closest to the 43X. The Canic is actually piled about <clears throat> just under a quarter of an inch longer. But trying to get this lined up. The grip on the 43X still extends down about a good half inch with the magazine in. And the Canic, 12 round magazine. One of the days I'm gonna get you, you stupid mosquito. And then we go into the Stoger. Lengthwise of the barrel, again, 43X looks like it is about a, now if you include that beaver tail, about a good quarter of an inch. And your grip, even the, the grip is longer than the 43X. Not sure how well you can see that. 43X extends down, heck, almost 7 eighths of an inch. So of all the Micro 9s, the 43X is actually the largest of, of there. And again, if, you're, if you have a small stature, and see if I can reach my cup, my water cup here. If you're a person of small stature, you know, the size of the pistol is going to mean a lot as far as concealability. With regards to your, you know, the profiling. Now, which now when it comes to shooting, though, which one's the most comfortable? Well, it's been a while since I have shoot or I've shot, you know, these four fine pistols. So, put some ammo in these magazines and put it to the test. All right. So we're at the seven yard line. And we're going to start with, on the low end, or the budget spectrum, with the Stoger STR9MC. Now with the lever ram magazine. You know, be shooting at the, you know, the uh, white cardboard target. Now, the reason that I'm at the seven yard line is because, and I'm going to do a seven yard line with all the other pistols as well. But the reason being I chose seven yard line because the FBI statistics show that your average engagement is going to be between three and seven yards. So we're going to uh, be on the, you know, at the far end you know, of the spectrum, you know, seven yards. It's got a magazine loaded. And slide pull on this one is a challenge. The serrations kind of suck. Now I have individual videos on all of these pistols, should you want to get a more in-depth review on it. So we're going to do all 11 rounds, see how we do. Now this pistol, to me it feels kind of jumpy in the hand. 
Now let's go over to the target and have a look at the target. So even though it was kind of jumpy in the hand, it's seven yards, had a real nice uh, group in there, all 11 rounds in that little spot. Now I did feel it kind of, you know, did feel it kind of shoot kind of high though. But, uh, so we'll put a new target up and go with the next pistol. Uh, this here's the Canic, the Medi MC9. Serration's a little bit more pronounced. It's a much more comfortable pull, a slide pull on it. And I forgot how many rounds we got here. 12 rounds. Right, let's go to the target. See how we do with the canic. So with the canic, as you can see, all 12 rounds within the box. So let's go check out the next pistol. Anyway, now the canic is actually you know pretty comfortable gun to shoot. Doesn't jump as round as you know, it's not as jumpy as the Stoker. All right, so moving on up. We have our, we're going to do the CP365 with the 10 round magazine at 7 yards. Now that, you know, except for that little dingleberry there, but that's one hell of a set of you no know, grouping right there. So now we're going to go check out the Springfield Hellcat on, and see how we do with that one. So for a budget gun, I say Canic beats the Stoker. And for a higher end gun, right now, the CP365 is in the lead. We'll see how it looks with Hellcat. Now this here's the Hellcat with the 10 round magazine. Yeah, I want it to be up front right now. I'm probably won't be surprised if I, uh, if my group ain't, ain't, ain't as tight or as good as the others. You know, mainly it's because, you know, Springfield, they like this u not sight. I freaking hate it. So let's go to the ten, seven yard line and see how we do. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So I missed the target completely. 
Oh. And you know, it just uh, yeah. So I just don't feel I don't feel like I have as nice grip as I know. Uh, the 365, I feel like I have much more of a salad grip. And again, these you not sit no. You notch sights, I can't stand them. So we're gonna now go to, I guess the Glock 43X is next. All right, so now Glock 43X, 10 round make scene, seven yards. Let's say here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all ten rounds in the box, not as tight as the as the P365. And quite honest with you, I'm going to reload that 365 now just to see if we can recreate, or if not, do better that previous shoot. Last target out on the range. Or at least last cardboard target. Here's what I'm proficient with. The staple gun. Right, so again, SIG P365 10 round magazine. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, real nice group in there. So I'd say pretty consistent with the, uh, with the SIG. So overall, they you know, uh, you know the Glock 43X is not too shabby of a pistol. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit more slimmer than your standard Glocks, you know, if you're one, you know, a, a die-hard Glock fan, and the only thing you carry the Glocks, then you'll definitely you're gonna like this pistol. Uh, I have no question. There's no question as far as the dependability goes. You know, you know those familiar you know know with Glock you know that Glock has a history. Of producing a dependable and reliable, you know, you know firearm. Uh, but for my folks of a short stature like me, for vertically challenged like me, you might have some issues in let you know carrying this, you know, with their profiling. Whether you're carrying it, uh, you know, the small of your back or on your hip. That might be an issue. Even appendix, it might be an issue. You know, with this grip sticking out underneath the clothing. And for folks that think that don't matter, well, guess what? We live in a society where everybody is watching everybody, and everybody's, you know, and somebody's just itching to take a picture, you know, of somebody to for, uh, for an aha gotcha moment. But overall, again, the Glock 43X, you know, definitely, you know, could be, you know, it's worthy of consideration. Now, personally, I feel better, you know, with the, uh, 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 with the SIG P365. Now, you know, no shooting that. Me personally, I just felt, you know, like a better grip. You know, so if you're looking, you know, if you're short stature, you got small hands like I do, uh, you know, CP365 for me was probably one of the better ones. You now, those of you that are, you know, good at shooting that, uh, 
you know, them Springfield pistols with that U notch sight, then the, then the Springfield Hellcat might be more up, be up your alley. Um, so for you know, the selection of micro nines, uh, personally, I'll go with the on, on the higher end of the price point. I'll go with the P365. You know, lower end, I'll go with you know the Canic, uh, the can the the, the Medi MC9. You know, it was a very comfortable pistol to shoot. Uh, it didn't jump around as much as the Stoger. So I felt like I had better control. And just a, again, just a comparison, you know, with the 365, with the Glock, I mean, look at this. Look at how much that pistol grip extends out, you know, with the Glock. And each one of them carry a 10-round magazine. Now, the Glock 365, And the Glock is about, you know, again, is longer than the 365. So, friends, ladies, gentlemen, fellow firearms enthusiasts, like to come out and well, come out. I'd like to thank you for heat getting to me. I'd like to thank you for coming out and joining me here at Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol Isle of Mark County, Mississippi. Uh, and again, if you're in, you know, any of y'all interested in you know, you know, getting some locally produced honey, raw, un, you know, you know, raw unfiltered honey, you know, go to crookedhorsetrading.com you know, or just do Google search Crooked Horse Trading Company and order yourself a bottle or a jar of honey. And this honey, it's a, you know, it's an uncharacteristically dark honey. I think y'all gonna like it. So until the next time, my friends, thanks for shooting with us.